rates and the unitary method. Just before we start, we've already actually met the unitary method in percentages and in ratios, and all that the unitary method is, is finding the value of one part. and using that to solve problems. So when we found 1% in percentages or in ratios, when we find the value of one part, that's the unitary method. This is the unitary method used with rates. So this example has a couple of tricky things which we'll have a look at. A truck uses four liters of petrol to travel 36 kilometers how far will it travel if it uses 70 litres of petrol? Now I chose this one because we've got to be a little bit careful with how we set up our rate because our first step will be to write and simplify our rate. And one of the problems with litres and distance is you can do litres per kilometre or you can do kilometers per liter. And so it's a little bit tricky to work out which one should go first. And the way we'd work it out is figure out which one do I need to get down to one of. And the question will usually help us with that. How far will it travel if it uses 70 liters of petrol? This helps us realize that I need to work out its distance for one liter and then multiply that by 70 for 70 liters. So this helps me realize that I've got to have liters second so that I get down to one liter, that's our unitary method part, and then I can take that to 70 liters. So my rate is 36 kilometers for four liters. You write your rate and you simplify your rate because I want to get down to one liter and how far that is. So of course to simplify your rate you remember we divide by our four over here. That will get me down to one liter here And if you need your calculator, you're welcome to grab that. 36 divided by 4 is 9. 9 kilometers for 1 liter. Or from 1 liter, perhaps, is a better word. There's a lot of words that can go in there. So when you used a liter of petrol, that got you 9 kilometers. How far will it travel if it uses 70 liters of petrol? Well, if 1 liter gets you 9 kilometers, 70 liters will get us 9 times 70 and again now you could do 9 times 7 and add your 0 or you could just get your calculator and do 9 times 70 because you see how we got that, 9 times 7 is 63 so 9 times 70 must be 630 630. Now, actually, technically, we probably wouldn't put that liters there. We'd put distance. Sorry, I was being very careless there. Distance, and it's nine lots, or 70 lots of nine kilometers. So it's 630 kilometers. And because it's a word question, word answer, therefore, the truck will travel 630 kilometers using 70 liters of petrol. So you write your rate, you simplify your rate, and then you've got one of whatever the thing is, and you will multiply for your answer. So you look for how many you're looking for and multiply by that many. Now often we need to convert rates. So this question, Melissa earns $57.60 for four hours of work. How much does she earn in cents per minute? 
So this would let Melissa work out how much money she's earning every single minute she's at work. Sometimes you might know what you earn for a year and you could work out how many hours you work in that year and you could work out what you're earning per hour. Or you might be given um, speed in meters per second, but you want to know what you're doing in kilometers per hour and we've got to be able to convert. So, when we're converting, we do start by writing the rate. So, this, that if they give us a unit that they want, that really helps us, that's cents, so the money has to come first, and that's minute, so the time has to come second. $57.60 for four hours. And of course, when we've written our rate, we simplify our rate. Dividing both sides by four, 14.4, now be very careful because this is money, so that's $14.40 for one hour. Now I could write it as $14.40 per hour, but we might keep it like this for a moment because this will be easier because I've got to convert each one to cents and to minutes. So, $14.40 in cents, sorry about the bell there, 1440 cents for one hour is 60 minutes. And now that's another rate that we have to simplify. And 40, so I'll be dividing by 60 on each side to get down to one minute. 24 cents for one minute. And then once you've got to the end and you're giving your answer as a rate because they did want cents per minute, therefore she earns 24 cents per minute. So $14.40 an hour actually equates to 24 cents per minute.